that data has enough information to sort of recreate uh, what you look like, your eye color, your hair color, your skin color, things about your face shape, your predisposition to carry different kinds of diseases, and also things that we may not be that comfortable predicting things like intelligence or uh, your propensity for aggression, things about your mental health. Those ancestry companies generally don't look at your whole genome. They do what we call a SNP chip, so they look at somewhere around six or 700,000 points in your genome only. Up until this point, even geneticists didn't really think that we could be using relatives to match across databases. I think that it's time that we're starting to put some protections in place for people in terms of protecting that data and sort of figuring out how we want it to be used and whether or not we want it to be used for forensics. I think the public conversation kind of needs to catch up with the science for this one. The Australian Academy of Science. Follow our Facebook page.